Family members are again calling for charges in a deadly CPD shooting less than two weeks before a new Cook County State's attorneys elected. Police shot and killed Reginald Clay Jr. last year during a chase. WDN's Angelica Sanchez joining us live with the latest on that. Angelica. Well, Ray and Mike, uh, family members of Reginald Clay Jr. are once again calling for charges to be filed against the officer that shot and killed him. And right now they are waiting to see how the upcoming Cook County State's Attorney's race impacts their case. Now, it was just last week when the Chicago Police Board recommended the officer involved in the April 2023 fatal shooting be separated from the department. They say he violated CPD policy and procedure by engaging in a continued foot pursuit of Clay and failure to use de-escalation techniques. Now, WGN is not naming the officer involved because he has not been criminally charged. The Clay family, along with their attorney, are concerned that the officer still has open avenues to fight for his job. They say they have reached out to both candidates of the upcoming Cook County State's Attorney's race. They also gave an update on the federal lawsuit filed against the department. We now know that COPA and the police board have recommended that the police officer who shot him be fired. And now we're at the point where the next step, where we're outside the Daly Center here calling upon the state's attorney's office to take additional action. We are moving forward with discovery to find out and to get not just the portions of the video that have been turned over, but to find out all of the videos, all of the instances, all of the evidence that led up to this. Now we've reached out to State's Attorney Kim Fox's office for comment on this case. We have yet to hear back. Live in the Loop, Angelica Sanchez, WGN News.